today I'm finally tackling my kind of new season capsule wardrobe. I'm filming this on the last day of April, so tomorrow's May. I feel a bit cheeky saying this is my spring wardrobe, but or my spring capsule, but I haven't actually put together a spring capsule. I never really sat down to kind of go through like what I wanted to include and what kind of style I wanted to go for this spring and I feel like I've kind of missed it, but this is going to be starting off in spring and then it's a transitional period of like spring to summer um, which in the UK yes May seems like summer but really it's not until like you know well into May and June so there's still those kind of breezier days today is a gorgeous day um it's so nice out uh but it's not always like that so I am going to need those few pieces in there that are like jumpers and cardigans and things that are like extra layers to kind of stay cozy or Sometimes it's just like, I'm gonna need it, you know, when I'm at work in the office or when I'm indoors. You know, it's not, it's never as warm indoors when the sun is shining, everyone puts the air con on. Um, and as a cold creature, that is just like my worst nightmare. So, gonna be keeping, well, maybe not this. I've noticed the other day that the elbows are kind of wearing away on this. I think on this side, it's like a faded patch and I'm really gutted because, well, it even feels it. It's literally, I just love it so much and I wear it so much, but you know, I'm just gonna try and take care of it and hope it doesn't fall apart. Anyway, that's kind of going off topic. Today, we are digging into my new wardrobe that you won't have seen yet. These are my, I got the Ikea Pax wardrobes for my new room. So this, we are in my kind of office, studio, closet space. That's what this is, um, which I will do a tour of very soon. There's one or two more things to go in here and then it's done. I'll also do a tour of my wardrobe at some point, but for today I'm just gonna, gonna just jump in here, pull out some things that I don't need in my wardrobe, maybe more wintry things or things that I just don't feel like I want in my current capsule. I'm gonna try and like write down everything that I include as well so that, so that I kind of know like what's in there at all times or how many items I have just so that I can share that with you and just show you exactly how many tops, how many bottoms, um, things like that. So I'll put all that information down below in the description box if you want to like open it up, see like how many tops, how many bottoms, how many items, all that kind of thing. Maybe that's of interest to you. Maybe, I know some people focus, especially when you're you know, starting off with a capsule wardrobe, some people really focus on the number of items in a capsule. Um, I'm not really gonna aim for a certain number, but I do wanna reduce this a little bit. This is not looking too stuffed, but my trousers are down here and they're looking quite full. Um, and also, as this is the first time putting my clothes and stuff into my wardrobe properly and organizing it, I need to figure out like what works. So this side is like long hanging and full length, but I realize I actually have a lot of room. I don't have anything that really hangs the whole way down. So maybe I can get another shelf in there and have some other kind of storage on a shelf. And then on this side, is like tops and blazers mostly, a few tops. And then on the bottom here, um, I'll have a jewelry drawer here first. And then on the bottom I have like jumpers, and um, not jumpers, jeans and trousers. But is that the best way to organize the space or could I do it differently? We will figure that out along the way. Um, I don't know what style of videos, I, I know you guys love these kind of like declutter, declutterizing, <laughs> decluttering and organizing videos, but I don't know if you like really long chatty ones and you're gonna kind of play in the background while you declutter and organize your own wardrobe, or if you'd rather something a little bit more kind of sped up um, and just kind of sit and watch in like 10, 15 minutes. I'm just gonna see how this goes. Um, let me know in the comments which you prefer, if you like the long ones or you like the shorter ones, because going forward I can try and make them, you know, whatever way you prefer. I feel like today might be a bit longer just because I haven't really done a, a proper capsule like overhaul or like refresh in a long time. So let's dig in. I don't know if this is better or worse from this angle, but maybe you can see a little bit more. Um, so basically we have all long hanging, but I do have like some jumpers that really don't need to be in long hanging. Also don't really need to be hung at all, but I need more shelves in this section. Um, also this shelf is books. It's, it's a wardrobe and I have books in it, but like I said, it's not fully finished. Um, so I'm just gonna dig in, pull out some things that I feel like maybe I don't want in this capsule or I've 
either not worn it in ages and I need to just put it away so it can come back out and be fresh and new maybe next season or things that I've worn a lot that I'm like I need a break kind of a bit of a mix so for example I pulled this satin skirt that you'll definitely have seen before um, out of my winter wardrobe but I still have this I mean they look the same this kind of has that like um, kind of animal print grain to it and although I have worn this a lot more um, I feel like I don't need both of these and I feel like this one is just a little bit more I don't know it's different I've worn this a lot over winter this one I haven't worn in like a year probably um, so I'm gonna keep this one in and take this one out because this isn't really maximizing my options within my wardrobe the outfit would look pretty much the same so this one is gonna stay This is a jumpsuit that I shared probably like last year that I needed to alter it to make it look cute and I haven't done that yet and I'm like I have this a few years and I haven't done it maybe like three years um I don't know am I committed enough to altering it to make it a really nice piece I do love it I think it's so chic but I don't really have shoes or anything that I would wear with it like that I could just kind of throw on and go and for that reason, I feel like maybe I won't reach for it that much. So I might put in like a try on pile, but I'm gonna take it off the hanger anyway, because I don't I don't know if it'll come back until maybe like end of summer, maybe kind of autumn. That could be a cool time, a cut style with like boots and things like that. Maybe it is more kind of end of summer kind of vibe than start of summer. This is a piece I do wanna keep in my summer wardrobe. It's a lovely linen, um, kind of midi, midaxi even skirt. Um, it has a slit up the back and the outside skirt, not the lining, has a slit up further so I either need to match the lining or stitch that back up. But I also want to try it on, I haven't tried it on in, I didn't think, I don't think I had it in my wardrobe last summer, so probably the summer before. I haven't tried it on in a while, does it still fit me, does it still fit me how I remember it, do I still like it, or is there any point in hanging this in my wardrobe? Because if it doesn't look good and then I pull it out someday when I'm in like a rush and I'm trying to get ready, and then I realize it doesn't look nice. I'm just gonna be a bit pissed off. So I'm gonna try this one on. Now I have quite a big section for like occasion and party kind of dresses. Um, I guess, yeah, my like occasion section in my last wardrobe was always kind of, it was all in like one garment bag and like hidden kind of behind like where the doors met. So I rarely, rarely saw it in my wardrobe. And now it's just very much here because it's in the long hanging section. And I've accumulated a few extra pieces, so I'm just not sure what to do with it. I don't really want occasion wear hanging, looking at me every single day that I'm not gonna be wearing. It just makes me feel bad that I'm not wearing nice pretty dresses. Um, so like, for example, this was my evening dress for my wedding. I love it so much and I will definitely, definitely wear it again, but it'll take a certain kind of event, I think, because it's just like a white midi dress. I feel like that won't be until like, you know high summer or something like that it's not like I could ever wear it to a wedding anyway so likewise my navy coat I think this just needs to go I, this needs to be replaced I had been looking up some kind of new navy um, wool coats on vintage to get a secondhand version but something as kind of like long and dressy as this one I absolutely love the kind of size of this it's two sizes bigger than my normal size I think that's why it's nice and oversized and almost has like a drop shoulder because the shoulders are so big. Um, it's kind of, well, it's a raglan sleeve anyway, so that's nice. But um, I just need to replace it. I've been looking on Vinted for some other options, but since it got eaten by moths and then I hemmed it to get rid of most of the damage, but it didn't really kind of help and it just feels like an old coat now. I don't feel good when I wear it. So I think this is one that just kind of needs to, um, needs to, I don't, I don't know what to do with it. It could be handy for someone who wants kind of like an, a more worn coat. Maybe you want to do some like outdoor work or something. If I had this at the countryside, just like, you know, those kind of walks and stuff, it'd be great. But I don't, I don't live in the countryside anymore. I don't do work outside. I don't need a coat like that. Maybe somebody does. Anyway, that's a spare hanger. In terms of a leather jacket, I feel like I could get a little bit of wear out of this before it gets like really hot, like with just a t-shirt or something. Um, 
spring and summer tend to when I actually get to wear leather jackets because winter is too cold for me to just wear a short leather jacket. So I'm going to leave this in here. Same with this blazer, which you might not have seen me wear for a while, but I definitely have worn it, just not in ages. But it's just this, um, cause it's baby outside. Cause it's um, navy, I feel like maybe I don't kind of reach for it a lot, but it's a little bit brighter than like a black. And I do love it with just like a white top and jeans. It looks really good. And I like the kind of warmth that navy gives to an outfit that black kind of takes away almost. So I'm gonna keep it out and I'm gonna try and wear it. And again, it's it's kind of like a wool coat, but it's shorter. It's more of a blazer style, but it's still warm enough to wear in the spring for me, who's always cold. I don't know. Just don't know whether to put it in here or put it with the jackets. I might pop it with the jackets again. And I think this leather jacket could probably go in here too. I think I could probably put my acne scarf away as well. Um, my February purchase, I love it so much. My last video was my little review of my January, February, March purchases, which if you haven't seen, I will link up here. Um, and I just talk about how I have absolutely zero regrets about spending this much money on a plane beige scarf like I just love it so much so that's gonna go in my winter wardrobe to come back out probably in like autumn time when it starts to get a little bit chilly again so these are all my kind of occasion dresses um some of them could be day dresses like this one but it feels a little bit more wintry with the kind of mock neck and the long sleeves so this usually I would wear it with like tights and boots I could wear it with just trainers but it's still, it, I, I think it's polyester, so it feels a bit stuffy when it's warm. So this is just, can, so this can stay with my occasion wear. So I would possibly wear it in the evening with like strappy sandals when it's not as hot. Um, what else? Hmm. Some of these things like I could wear during the day, but like how often do I? Like this black silk dress. Um, I love it so much and I have worn it before just on its own. Because it's silk, I feel like it's lightweight enough to wear during summer and not be absolutely boiling. And this will be quite cute for work actually, even with Converse or um, some cute sandals. I had cute sandals. I don't really have dressy ones. I do, but like not ones that I'd probably wear all day. Um, but maybe I can try it on in my, well, let's just leave it in here. And then I'll see how my whole capsule fair up and if it kind of goes with what I have. Yeah, I'm not going to write it off just yet. So we'll pop it over onto this day wear side. Um, this was a dress I always love wearing in summer. It's not, mm, it's kind of springy. I could, I used to wear like a white mother of pearl t-shirt underneath it. So if I had a white round neck t-shirt again, maybe I could wear this. Yeah, let's see. I think I might have gotten one recently. Pop this on that side as well. And then these are kind of only two other ones, but this one seems a bit too, too much for spring. This is like a summer dress that I love to wear to like the park or something, but I'm not really gonna wear it just yet. I, do, I don't know. I'm just trying to like think about all the colors and stuff that are going into the wardrobe. This one is like a nice little slip dress again I probably won't wear this until it's like high summer very hot um so I might leave both of these into leave them with like the dressy stuff so all of these dresses are going to go into a garment bag off camera when I'm not like fumbling about trying to um trying to get that all together um Another dress that I have that I could probably keep in my spring wardrobe is this cream knitted dress that I was trying on Instagram last night. Um, and you guys seem to like it because you voted for me to wear it out, but then I didn't end up going out. But I can pop this on a hanger now. I could use this one, I guess. Um, because again, it's like, it's a good one for wearing 
in the office when you know it's bright and it's a nice bright color for spring but if there's aircon on it's still kind of like wearing a jumper um but then it's a dress as you can see <laughs> so we've got a couple of pieces a couple of skirts um I'm just hide these for now. Okay, so they're kind of hidden. So, jacket-wise, what do we want to keep in here? Um... I feel like maybe I don't know I know this is a black blazer and it's a great kind of all year staple I was gonna say maybe it's a bit too black and like dark for spring but again I think it's quite a good um, light jacket to have so I think I'll leave it in I don't know I feel like with blazers um, they're all quite good options to have for this time of year but I think I could probably pull out a couple because I'm not probably going to wear all of them just because there'll be so many options so we're keeping another jacket definitely want to keep the pink blazer this is kind of new and um, it's my wardrobe you may not have seen it I wore this the night before my wedding and it was kind of like my 30th birthday party as well so I wore this with some pink trousers and I absolutely love it and I can't wait to wear that exact same outfit all over again so this has to stay in my wardrobe um, and it's a nice springy colour as well. I don't wear a lot of colour but when I do it's probably pink. Um, so that could be nice. I also love my leopard print suit but then I'm like it's not... I have worn it before in spring. Uh, it's not the most like summery thing. You know what, I might put this into my occasion capsule um, and then I'll pull it out if I have a special occasion but I just don't think I'll need to wear this um full suit any other time i love it but maybe just i mean this is the thing this is the whole thing about kind of like having your clothes in like a cycle so you might love something but then if you wear it a lot you kind of sometimes you need to put it away for a little bit while for a little bit while for a little bit of time so that when you pull it back out you're like oh my god i'm so excited um this blazer this is like my first blazer ever um, that I actually liked wearing. This is kind of what introduced me to blazers. And it's such a kind of 80s vibe for me. It has a little bit of padding in the shoulders. I just don't wear it. And I'm like, why? I loved it. I wore it straight for like two years. But since now that I have other blazers, I'm like, do I prefer these? Or do I still love this? Am I keeping it because it's more nostalgic for me? Or do I actually still like it? It's, it's a tough one. Maybe this needs to go in the try-on pile to remind myself either why I love it or maybe I don't love it. Let's figure that out when we do a try-on later. This suit, again, haven't worn it in a while, but then for the last two years I have been working from home. I'm like, when do you wear a suit except to the office? So now that i kind of going into the office again, I could definitely rock this someday. I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna put it in the try-on pile though because I wanna remember how it feels to wear a suit. So we've talked about this, this, this green one. Like, I feel like a lot of pastels going on and this isn't me. So I need to, again, refine the colors in this capsule. Maybe it's a case of like having the pink one for spring. Okay, it's swapping it out for this one for summer or maybe autumn. This might be a nice one to bring back in autumn because it's been in my wardrobe for a while and I haven't reached for it in a while. But I did wear it a good bit at the, what, I think it was autumn or maybe end of summer that I got it. So maybe, maybe you're just the pinks coming out and the, these ones kind of just need to go. Yeah, so again, I can try it on and remind myself why I love it or I can just leave. Oh, I feel like this is already taking ages and I'm kind of getting like warm as well from talking through everything. So now we have tops. This is a nice jumper that I'll keep in my wardrobe because it's this like square neck one um, and it's, it's viscose, so it's quite thin and it's not too sweaty, but it's nice to have an option for when you kind of need to wear something slightly warmer. 
I also have these two other jumpers. Um, one is just like a, my crew neck grey cashmere, which I've just kind of started wearing recently again. Um, and a grey and a black, and then I have this blue one, which is a nice colour as well. Um, I don't... It's, it's a different fit as well. It's kind of like... I can wear that with like a skinnier bottom because it's a bit more of an oversized fit. It doesn't have like a ribbed hem. Whereas the other two I kind of need to wear with a wider bottom. No, yes. Um, okay, so tops. I feel like I can put away this polo neck. Um, I don't really need a long sleeve polo neck in my wardrobe right now. This, however, is a cute little like ribbed t-shirt which I would like to have some drawers in this wardrobe at some stage um this is inside out and it's very fluffy it's just this little kind of square neck it's very similar to the jumper but it's like the t-shirt style and I also have this in white which is kind of drying upstairs just come out of the wash so I'm going to keep both of those because I just love those tops and I just love the neckline I just I'm obsessed um cami top always a good addition to a summer wardrobe but I don't know if I need it yet for spring we'll see I mean I am kind of thinking like number of items this one I really love this top but I don't know if you can tell you can now it's just covered in fluff like I mean how often am I going to reach for a top that looks like this um I have a lint roller but like Anyway, I think I wore like a cream jumper over it, so it could probably, um, it could look better. So for shirts and blouses, uh, I feel like I need to try this on. This I picked up, um, I don't remember when, the last one was in a charity shop. I think it was around Christmas and I just grabbed it, thought it was nice, thought I needed it for my new job. Um, but I haven't really found a way to, I haven't worn it yet, so I haven't obviously found a way that I, enjoy wearing it so I'm gonna try it on if it doesn't work I'm gonna like resell it um but I have my two silk shirts my black one is in the wash which again will probably stay in this capsule but it's time for me to kind of are these like get the fabrics disintegrated <laughs> um but I love these shirts they're silk and they feel so amazing on the skin and I just love 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 wearing them this one is like an equipment blouse that I got second hand on Depop. I think I paid like 20 quid for it and it's 100% sell and it's cheetah print. What could be more of me? And I feel like I haven't worn it in a while. I also have this, um, this inside out but it's a silk blouse from Lily Silk. I featured this in a video a while back of like how to how to make interest how to make boring outfits interesting or something like that. I'll link that up here as well. Um, if you're like bored of me decluttering and you want something a little bit more exciting and some outfits to see um, but if you're not bored yet well done if you've made it this far um, this one is quite big and boxy but it's nice but I think I need to like try it on and kind of uh, envision it with some more like spring summer outfits um, because I haven't really worn it that much yeah here's that white t-shirt that I said I bought that I could wear under that brown dress. I need to try that on and make sure it still works, but this kind of just stays in my wardrobe because it's a handy layering piece, even just for under jumpers. A few little beige tops. So boring. <laughs> um, this one's a little crop one, which I feel like maybe it's more like if I'm going on summer holidays or if it's very hot summer, so I don't need it yet. That one I got on Vintage before I went to Santorini and I wore it a lot. That and a little black one. They're just really good basics. And they're handy to have a crop sometimes. You don't want to have to tuck stuff in and have extra bulk and be like really warm. So a little crop top is nice. Um, and then I have this one shoulder top, which I love. I'll wear that a lot again this summer. I wore it loads last summer. And then this is just kind of a, another one of those kind of like basic layering pieces. Um, it's just a Zara tank top. Um, but yeah, so up, I keep these in. I don't really I feel like I'm probably not gonna wear this one much until summer. But I don't know when that's gonna be. Like, is it gonna be soon? 
or is it going to be um, weeks and months away? I don't know. I think in my head I do want to whittle this down. The number of items, I kind of want to reduce it down so they're not quite so packed so I can kind of see everything that's here. And also I want to kind of colour coordinate it again so it looks really pretty. Um, ultimately, I just want a really nicely organised wardrobe. Okay, I'm going to have to like kneel down to get these um, trousers sorted. So come down here with me. Okay, so I have all of my... Um, jeans, trousers, a couple of pairs of joggers as well because I don't, like I said, don't have any drawers. So normally I'd store joggers like rolled up in a drawer, like folded, rolled, not like rolled in the ball, um, like Marie Kondo style. But I have everything here. And then I also have a pair of shorts here, which um, I'm actually going to pull out first because they need to be hemmed on one leg. Um, the hem's kind of fallen down, so either I need to Pull the other hem down or sew this one up. As you can see, uh, one's quite longer. So there's no point having that hanging in my wardrobe until I do that. So let's just pop that to one side. Let's face it, the to sew pile um, only gets visited very rarely. So um, next time I have my sewing machine out, we will work on that. This is tops. I don't know why this is down here, but this is just like basic t-shirts with a basic gray t-shirt basic black again these would be the kind of things that I would put um in a drawer normally so a couple of tank tops that blank blank black tank top that I mentioned um is the same as the beige one and my favorite brown tank top which I just love so much and I wear that every single summer I feel like it's time to start wearing it like under one of like my left front shirt where the left print shirt open something like that so I'm gonna pop these up here and figure out later how I'm gonna organize it to make it look nicer um so let's go through all of the bottoms see if there's anything we can cull for winter there's a lot um so i've got some white joggers which are nice just to like lounge around the house in got my white wide leg cream kind of wide leg trousers i love these but i don't really wear them that much but again i think it's because i haven't worn them since um end of last summer maybe although I'm just noticing the back of them looks a little bit like bobbly you can see that like the fabric's getting rubbed a little bit um, it's kind of on one side I wonder is it like on a handbag maybe we can just kind of go over that with my debobbler or something um, but I'm going to leave them in the wardrobe for now anyway because I plan to wear these again. I love a wide leg trouser now. I just think they're so dressy. Um, if you want to like, well, I guess it depends how you feel in them, but I was going to say, if you want to feel like a boss, I feel like a pair of wide leg trousers, especially in like a lighter color, because I feel like a lot of the time light colors remind me of like what rich people would wear. You know, they can afford to get them dry cleaned, or they can afford to, uh, I don't know, replace them if they get ruined. <laughs> Not very sustainable, but that's the kind of vibe I get from it. So these lighter tones, I feel like expensive entrepreneur, you know? Um, so I would recommend. Um, if you're not into like lighter colors, then you could always just get a black pair. I also have a pair of black wide leg trousers, which I've been really loving which is like a white ribbed tank top lately um okay so i think these i might take out of my wardrobe because i need to try them on again they're a little bit snug i think they're a size smaller than what i would normally wear they're from reese so they're really nice quality um but i think they're a bit snug i'm sorry i don't want to get rid of them but we'll try them on we'll see how comfortable they are but you know, trousers that are too tight are just not fun to wear. This is a very big um, black section here and I'm like, it's spring. Do I need all these black pieces? So maybe, I've got my black skinny jeans. I might get rid of those. Even though I literally was trying them on last night, but I didn't wear them. So if we can get rid of them for winter um, or back to winter, 
I tend to wear skinny jeans more in winter with like big chunky jumpers whereas when it's summer and I'm wearing like more fitted tops I like to wear my straight leg and wider leg trousers and jeans um they're joggers my Spanx leggings um are these more of a winter item maybe I think so love loved wearing these can't wait to take them back out next um like I guess autumn but I got these in January so I haven't had tons of wear of them yet like I wore them a lot but for how long I've had them I haven't gotten to wear them that much but I do love them so I'm kind of sad to put them away but I don't want to overdo it now and then or just like leave them in here and then actually not wear them joggers black trousers yeah I have my leather trousers still in here which I think is okay for a little while of spring um because they're straight like fit so they're not super tight and hot Denims. one pair of skinnies these are nice ish um so i guess if you're just explaining something as nice ish maybe they shouldn't be in your wardrobe but they're just like a really really lightweight they're almost like jeans but they're more just like a lightweight summer trouser but i don't think i'd wear them until it's super hot like they're more like sun holiday trousers and i would probably reach for my jeans more than i would reach for these so maybe they don't need to come out yet next thing for me to do will be like make sure each section has either all rose gold hangers or all silver because i don't like when the tops are mixed but that's what i have the leopard print is fun to wear in the spring as well a little bit um these are my pink trousers that i wore for my 30th birthday Sorry, this is like a super long video. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that selection. I do notice though, I feel like I have more like bottoms that I'm really happy with than I do tops. And that's just something I think I need to work on because I love my jeans and I love a lot of my trousers. But then when I come to tops, I'm like, oh, I don't know what I want, want to wear. I don't know what I want to wear with the bottoms. So then some of the bottoms I don't end up wearing because I don't have the right top for them. Um, which is why I love just having a lot of basic options because then it kind of goes with the majority of it. Okay, so in terms of footwear that I want to put away um, back into my winter suitcase. I'm not actually going to put it in my suitcase because I feel like shoes take up a lot of space. I have this um, massive mother of pearl shoe bag that I got with like this pair of shoes that I have from them. I um, absolutely love these. But the shoe bag is like massive. It must have come from like a pair of boots or something so the first one that i have in it is this pair love these just hit myself in the face um i love these i love the small heel they are a little bit snug i feel like they're just like a bit of a narrow six even though it says they're 39 and a half i feel like they're more like a 38 and a half yeah it definitely says 39 but anyway with thin socks and not like not walking all day in them they're absolutely fine they just look really cool um these as well i just don't think i'm going to wear them much in summer to be honest i don't wear them much in winter either but they're an option um they're just again not one of those all day boots so i don't wear it that much i like to take it out when i want to dress up in the winter um but they're just a lovely boot and they're kind of timeless so i don't mind keeping them even though i don't wear them tons but i don't need them in my summer wardrobe for sure um what else so I just got these as my April purchase, which I love. And you know, a black ankle boot, I feel like I would wear these all year round. Um, so I'm gonna keep these in my wardrobe. That is, um, that is for sure. These boots, however, I'm not sure yet. Um, these are from Vivea and they were in a video, I like a sponsored video I did with Vivea, um, maybe two videos back, not that far back. I think it up here if you wanna see some like, shoe outfits i mean they're full outfits there's not just shoes but um i saw these up in two different ways but i just haven't worn them i've worn them like once or twice since then um just not a lot so i think i need to put these in the try on pile um you know with accessories don't just presume because they like you know they fit you that you don't need to do like a try on they're not always like a yes or a no or really obvious so i need to try them on with some of the other things in my try on pile see if they go with stuff also try them on with stuff in my absolutely keeping stuff because no point signing with the things that i don't really wear because then it's like a whole outfit i don't really wear 
but because they're brown I feel like I could get away with wearing these in the spring and they're a little bit brighter than a black ankle boot which would be nice so I just yeah I'll try them I feel like they're a little bit big for me which is probably why I've been avoiding them but they're quite comfy um the heel is nice and low the toe is like squared off so it's it's roomy it's not like really narrow and pointy um in terms of shoes I also have some brown converse I haven't broken these in yet so I've only worn them like once um I think there's a bit of blood on them as as you have with like a low top converse I got these in December so again because it was the middle of winter I wasn't wearing like low tops so I just need to break these in but I think they'd be a really nice option for spring summer because of the low top style and also because my other converse I feel like they just died um I washed them in the washing machine yesterday I put them on a 20 degree spin 20 degree heat like you know like an eco wash so the cold so that it wouldn't melt them they kind of got a bit ruined I get them. so they do look much cleaner which I mean they look amazing on camera um the laces and stuff are still a bit dirty but you know it's fine but this like rubber bit has come away from the fabric which I think I can probably just glue that into place that's fine if they're both like that grand but this one has just like torn completely so I don't know what I can do here I'm gonna try gluing it as well um but just in case it doesn't hold up because these are like my go-to summer shoe so now that they're dry they're dry-ish I can pop these back into my um take my slippers out pop these back onto my converse shelf these are a new addition to my wardrobe they look so bright on camera i guess they kind of are they are a secondhand pair of carvella like red suede flats red suede loafers and i just love them i used to be obsessed with like red bags as like an additional you know one colorful piece to add to a really basic outfit i've always been obsessed with red shoes too and usually i wanted like a little red heel which i had and they didn't fit properly so i never really wore them but these fit really well. They do rub, I wore them like a whole day at work. Like the, like the day after I got them, I wore them for the whole day. And they just rubbed like the side of my foot, like my kind of baby toe a little bit. Um, but I wore them without any socks. I think if I wear like those shoe liners, like footsie socks, they should be fine. But really, really comfy. Um, and they're just like a flat, um, real leather shoe. So they're quite soft as well. Um, but yeah, really nice. Really glad I found those secondhand as well because they're just gorgeous. And I just like having that little touch of red. But I'm also thinking I have kind of like touches of pink in this wardrobe. So is this going to be a real like red and pink spring capsule? Because let me show you something else. I have some pink shoes. <laughs> so this again is, um, these are a pair of Aveas. And these were the first pair of Aveas that I got um, when I worked with them previously like last year. And these are just a really nice pair of flats pointy toe um it's kind of cute like pale pink which isn't really one of my colors but I guess now it is um so I'm just gonna try and like work these into my wardrobe I'm gonna actually put them in the trial pile because they're a really comfy shoe so I feel like they could look great with stuff um this is annoying me now they could look really good with some of these outfits but the tone of pink might just not work they would look fine with like t-shirt and jeans but I want to make sure they go up more than that then um I brought back in a couple of pairs of flats these ones you'll remember I've had these I think for two maybe coming on three years and then I just wear them to death they're like kind of you know scuffed and falling apart and I wonder could I take them in somewhere to get repaired I don't think they do these shoes anymore or I would just repurchase them um obviously there's still lots of wear left in these but I would just like repurchase them just to have them ready for when these do fall apart. But these are like, it's like my foot, but better because it's a shoe. <laughs> but you know that feeling when you just have like a sock on, but it's really comfy and you can just like walk a million miles in them and they just don't rub. Um, I don't think they took much breaking in either. Also, I have these ones from Vivea too, which are the same shoe, but different color which I think this color would work better in my wardrobe. But the first time I wore them, they really cut me. So I'm not sure if it's just like a slightly different size or just 
where the like you know when you, the stitching is um so it could be that but i think these would work better for me color wise than the pink ones so i'm going to try put these in the try on pile too and just see um if i can work out how to make them comfortable and then i have a couple of pairs of heels we have these little slingbacks that i adore um don't wear them a lot but if i want to wear like a dressy little shoe this is kind of my go-to they're good for occasion and they're also just look great with jeans and a jumper something simple like that um and also these sandals which i just adore these i got these a year and a half ago so september 2020 i got these um and i've worn them a lot the soles of them actually look really dirty and cracked maybe it's just so i've worn them a lot i don't know um but yeah i love these so much they just they're so comfortable even though they're strappy they don't seem to like dig in in the wrong places like there's a stain or something on them but yeah i love these and this last pair i picked up just before i went to santorini i kind of i feel like this is definitely an impulse and definitely not one of i mean it i bought it this year i bought them this year um so they definitely weren't on my like monthly spending list so this is kind of like a cheat but i bought them purposely for holidays so it's not like to add to my everyday wardrobe but I don't know they were second hand I got them for like six pound from Vinted um but they're really handy because on so I after I went to Ikea in those shoes and like cut my ankles I couldn't wear my strappy these ones that I had brought on holidays with me as well I couldn't wear them because the strap around the ankle so I wore these the whole time and um, because they were the slides and there's nothing on my ankle so if you have um I feel like this is just a great go-to shoe if you have like cut your ankles from other shoes then a pair of slides is really handy and the tiny heel made me feel really dressed up but they're so comfortable so I know I'll get a lot of wear out of these this summer the soles are a bit manky um turn them this way again just like a nude shoe kind of nice crossover detail on them really like just a kind of a classy dressy it's like a flip-flop but it's a heel you know um so I, I adore these they're quite snug and like hard to get my foot into quite narrow but I think that's what helps keep them on my feet. So I'm not complaining about that because I find slip on kind of mules like this always fall off my feet, but these actually don't. So that's a bonus. So I think that's all in terms of shoes. I have another pair of trainers in the hallway that I wear all the time. That's why they're in the hallway. I was wearing them today. So I don't have tons of shoes. Um, I feel like I thought I had more shoes, but I think it's because I have a few in the to try on pile. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna have to do a separate try on video, I think. This is gonna have to be a two part. I have talked so much, but I just really needed this like thorough, like, you know, analyze everything and kind of just go through everything really slowly and mindfully. Um, if you've managed till the end, amazing, fair play. <laughs> um, I don't have a prize for you, but the prize is to know that there is gonna be a second video coming with this of kind of, I might do like a little try on session with the maybe items and go through them and kind of show you my thinking and like why I decide to keep them or why I decide to pop them away for a while or maybe I decide to get rid of them completely. I have a bag of stuff to get rid of completely as well so I need to try those on too. This is just a whole process but luckily it's the bank holiday weekend so I'm just filming this on Saturday so I've still got Sunday and Monday to kind of do this whole process so without talking any further thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already I would really really appreciate if you do so. It makes such a difference to um, my channel to just kind of see the subscribers go up. I'm, I hit 5,000 and then it kind of dropped a little bit. So if anyone wants to help me to get back beyond that 5,000 mark, I would really appreciate it. I have my sights set on 10,000. Not necessarily for the number, but I just want to get these videos out to more people. I want to kind of share the idea of having a capsule wardrobe and having less and just wearing what you own and finding your personal style and like feeling really good in your clothes just want to get that message out more so if you also want to get that message out please do subscribe share this with anyone you think would benefit from it and i will see you guys really soon in my next video